Welcome. One area where image analysis is of tremendous value is in the characterization of particle size and size distribution. We know that particles and powders are used in essentially every industry and that their size and size distribution affect many very important product properties including mechanical properties such as fracture toughness and yield strength optical properties that affect appearance and intrinsic properties like refractive index and absorption. Rheological properties such as viscosity, adhesiveness and cohesiveness, stickiness. The explosive properties, the medical properties such as toxicity and efficacy, as well as acoustic, transport, dispersion, taste, texture, and many other properties. There are many ways by which we can get information about the size and size distribution of particles and powders. Image analysis is a uniquely powerful tool for providing high resolution size distribution that allow the detailed description of those distributions, characterization of their extremes, and differentiation between primary particles, aggregates, and agglomerates. We often call this type of characterization granulometry. Images are data. They contain a huge amount of information such as particle size distribution, spatial density, cluster size and bounding surface area, number of particles per cluster, the nearest neighbor distances, and their statistics the distribution of the number of nearest neighbors per particle and the relationship of the number of nearest neighbors to particle size. And it is our challenge to extract that information in a meaningful and useful form. The Aphelion Imaging Software Suite consists of a variety of products that will help you obtain your needed information in an efficient, meaningful manner. These products provide tools that allow non-experts to rapidly obtain reliable results, as well as tools for the very skilled, allowing them to work on extremely complicated problems and to create unique, standalone applications for use in a wide variety of ways, including quality control. As an example, with this image, we can easily obtain the particle size distribution. We verify the calibration of the image, then select a Gaussian filter to reduce noise due to imaging. We can then use an automatic threshold to select just the bright objects. Following this, we select the functions that separate touching objects, fill in holes, and remove objects touching the edges. If necessary, we can manually edit the results to separate objects that are still touching or reconnect objects that should be together. We then measure many different properties of the objects to produce a table of results that we can use to examine a specific property such as the particle diameter. We can then also view that result in graphical form. In this case, there are more than 350 particles that were measured. This is a lot of data, but it can be easily exported to Excel, and a summary report will be quickly created by using the report generator. Small programs or macros are very easy to create by using the macro recorder and greatly reduce the tedium of routine analysis, increase the speed of data acquisition, and improve the precision and reliability of the measurements. In this real-time example, the macro is already loaded. The analyst starts the macro and is asked to open one of a series of four images. In just a few seconds, the entire analysis is completed and the results are displayed. 
These results have had a statistical correction applied to eliminate the bias in the distribution that is introduced when removing objects which are touching the borders. The term granulometry was used earlier. Granulometry is the measurement of the size distributions of a set or collection of grains, particles, or discrete objects. When using image analysis, it is possible to use the mathematical morphology approach of granulometry, which is based on openings and may be thought of as digital sieving, and can be used on grayscale images as well as binary images. Here are a set of isolated spheres of different sizes on the upper left and the same set of spheres that are overlapping on the upper right. By using the morphological granulometry approach, the particle size distributions of the two images are obtained without the need to threshold or separate the touching or overlapping particles. Here you can also see the result for a cellular concrete. Whatever the level of measurement complexity, Aphelion has the tools you'll need. We encourage you to download a fully functional evaluation copy of Aphelion from our websites, adsys.net and amerineximaging.com. The websites also have much more information about Aphelion and its many applications. Please feel free to contact us for additional information. Our contact information is on the Contact Us webpages at the two websites. Thank you.